stop us from continuing? That's your belief, Seraph. Not everyone shares it. But you do, Adam. I know it. And if we work together, we can really make a difference. We can improve the lives of everyone, but only if we fix this. Go on. We'd have to get a message out. After you shut down Hugh's signal. Tell the world. Tell them the Humanity Front did this. That their doctors created a virus that only affects augmented people. You mean lie. Uh, it'll give us time, son. Time to figure out how to destroy the Illuminati's biochips and move on. And what about the people who've been hurt by this? Don't they deserve the truth? I had them. If we want the freedom to become more than we are, we can't be blinded by a misguided morality. Some people will be left behind. It's reality. It's evolution, son. Right. Evolution based on my DNA. Please, son, you have to stay with me on this. I'll think about it. Okay, I spoke with Seraph. So speaking with him doesn't do anything, right? I'll just save over. I think it will give you an extra option at the end. No, it doesn't do anything. I was going to present his side of the You've story. You've got no remorse about using me at all, do you? I never used you, son. You experimented with my DNA without telling me. Ah, oh, Adam, this is difficult. Listen, Megan, Megan came to me with the sample. When she showed me her finding, when I saw, when we saw the incredible potential of super compatibility. You just had to share it with the world. Adam, think about it. Would you have been able to do any of the things you've done? Oh boy, first boss space? fight. Huh? Most people's bodies uh, aren't as accepting Highland of this Park technology as Team yours Camp. is. Sharing your DNA makes it yeah. possible for us yeah, to be bad. like you. How can you I deny that? I got lucky and killed himself with Who said I would deny it? No, it's, it's, my not, DNA and lied it's to me. not bad at all. Even on hard choice. mode, you kill him with like five now. barrels. Uh, look, I admit Gas or explosives or whatever. Way. You just pick up. But don't punish the world to spite me. You just point and Daryl click, wants man. us to live in the dark ages. The, barrels. the Illuminati yeah, wants to limit evolution to those they control. You and Usually, me, we... he's just so slow to react. At least in my run, he is so slow to react. It didn't matter. He was always... Uh, facing and the I wrong believe. direction. You start out. You make the right if he's if he's facing the other way, looking for you, then you use a gas wand to stun him. I know blaming you front and you the you follow up with, a, with an explosive mouth. barrel and another gas wand. So what if go. I kill Seraph? Will it the affect longer him? that signal broadcasts, the harder it'll be to convince people. Possibly, I wouldn't think so. He's a pretty good no, actually, hero. a world will be I mean, on our own path. Now that you've spoken no with him, you should get the extra option. But Sarah, I don't know if the, will have any the only good character in the whole game. I mean, good as in morally good, not uh, what you well think fleshed good? out. Yeah, I think he's a jerk. How so? Actually, this, this like, constitutes oh, we gotta spoilers. Lie about Hang humanity on. First, creating a virus hey. that affects us augments. It's like really. I got I love. But well, before you ruin the game for pro styles, let's hop down with the good games <laughs> because. I don't care. I you can go ahead. Good games. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. I shouldn't get any more specific about it. Eric underscore their win entered channel. Hello, Eric Bone. Uh, no, no, I mean, I just, yeah, I gotta stop talking about I can't switch channels right now. I don't have hotkeys for it. You can't alt tab? Deus Ex is very good at alt tabbing. Mm, not that good. Okay, so now I'm just trying to find. Uh, what's his name? In a server room. The other dude. Yeah, we'll call him the other dude. Where's that server room? So you were trying to explain to me the server room, was it like before I would go down that shaft or, or don't go down the elevator? Wait, so you just found Sarah? Yeah, I found Sarah. I haven't found the other dude. 
How did you get to Sarah? I went down the elevator that's filled with crates. I could have jumped down okay. the, um, the Icarus chute too. Right, okay, well then, then go back up. Okay, I'll look around. Um, Taggart is somewhere up there. If whichever hallway you didn't go down the first time, it's down that one. I'm seriously not funny. It's the elevator. Look at the damn map, man. Use your plus and minus keys to figure out which level there's another hallway on. Okay, so. <sighs> I guess my quick question is, is the room he's in out by uh, those giant pipes where it's snowing and you can see the snow drifts and those super huge pipes? No. Uh, is it before that? I don't remember where the super huge pipes are, but I believe his room had a view of the inside. Okay. So I have to go back upstairs. I, I could be completely wrong. Can't open that room. I said he was in a server room. Aha, uh aha, -huh, I found it. Yeah, if you okay. find a long hallway with a bunch of cameras, there should be like two cameras and then a little trench off to the left, then you found the direction he's in. Is there any danger to the cameras seeing me? Yes. What happens? Uh, triggers an alarm, robots come after you. Enough! Oh wow, there's a lot of dudes. Peps time. Oh. Uh, no, not peps time. You can either jump on top of the servers and cross, cross over the top of the servers, or out in the hallway you can go off in the trench to the left. And there's a, there's a vent in the trench. I could also kill him with the crates. Maybe that just knocks him out. Actually. That kills him. That's too bad. I exchanged my shotgun for a plasma gun. Uh, just because. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the barricade that he spoke of. Now it's time to hack the planet. Well, how can you avoid making a Hack the Planet reference, seriously? Access granted. How did you manage to avoid being affected by the signal? Were you in on it with that bastard, Darrow? Now the governments of the world will finally realize that every one of you should be shut down and disassembled. This technology no disassemble. needs to be shoved back no in its box. Get away! Just get away! I saw what you people did. Yeah, you killed them all! Freaked out you even audience. killed each other! It was a massacre! People were pleading on their knees, crying for mercy! And they were all murdered! Well, I would be too if everyone in the room who had Augment suddenly turned on me and tried to kill me. That Hugh Darrow was a monster! Such a tragedy. And the right hands this technology yeah, could have helped so many people. Freaking out. So like, if I hadn't made up my mind long ago, augments, man, no this would prove to me, me that augmentation technology should be well, understood. Well, they were also control. humanity first people. Yeah. <laughs> under Tech. You seem to so, be the first people. By the signal that Darrow is broadcast. Well, yeah. I suppose that is a military adaptation. We've dabbled in something we shouldn't have, and look at the result. 
Mr. Jensen, how ironic that you should be the one to save us from the monsters no, out there. Not really monsters, ironic. Taggart? You mean people. Augmented people who've lost all control, lost their reason. Isn't that supposed to be my line? Unfortunately, it seems your esteemed Mr. Darrow decided to appropriate my point and turn it back on me. In madness and in blood. He has betrayed us all. So you finally admit it. You are part of this, after all. You have been all along. It would be pointless to deny anything now, but despite what you think of us, we never wanted augmentations outlawed. All we've ever sought is regulation. Rules governing how the technology is developed and laws that ensure it's used for the good of society. You've raised society above humanity. So who gets to make those rules? Men with wisdom, strength, and tenacity to know what's right. Proven leaders who distinguish themselves like... like you, Mr. Jensen. You've certainly earned the right to be one of us. All you have to do is take it. I'm not looking for glory, Taggart. Just remember that without control, there's no room for freedom, only anarchy. You were a policeman once. You know the importance of order. I know there's a difference between order and slavery. The biochip wasn't supposed to force people to do anything. It merely limited power so that people couldn't go on killing sprees like the ones taking place right now. Amazing how well that worked out. Say what you will, but I know that some part of you agrees with me. Absolute freedom is no different than absolute chaos. Society needs boundaries if it has any hope of surviving. And you, Mr. Jensen, can be the one to give us that hope. Shut down Darrow's signal. Then help me get a message out saying that an accident at VersaLife contaminated the world's neuropazine supply. VersaLife? And what if I decided to blame the Illuminati? The Illuminati is just a name to get rich financiers to invest more money. Besides, do you really think the world will believe in some 18th century conspiracy theory? Do this for us, and you'll ensure a future for mankind, all of mankind, augmented or otherwise. The future Hugh Darrow offers doesn't allow for both. Let me think about it. All of this is as much your fault as it is Darrow's. You and your cabal. Perhaps. But all we sought was a safety valve, Mr. Jensen. A means of making sure the world would never spin out of control. The potential of this technology is great, but as we've seen, its potential for destruction is even greater. Your doomsday scenario doesn't impress me. You'd say anything to stay in power. Do you think humanity will simply police itself? We do not live in some Eden, Mr. Jensen. Or are you that much like your boss, David Seraph, who envisions a world where everyone is enhanced and suddenly they all love each other? There will always be a need for methods of control. And conveniently, in your future, the Illuminati will hold the reins. Not directly. There are organizations already in place that are better equipped to handle certain things. The UN, for instance. Reimagine, no doubt. At least somewhat. And this technology will be a great part of it. Imagine, Mr. Jensen, a world governed by common principles. The end to international power struggles, to terrorism. These things can be accomplished if you join us. Stop the signal broadcast and get the word out, Mr. Jensen. Remember, Darrow's vision would set us back for centuries. Sorry for these guys. 